What up y'all and welcome back to another one. Today is going to be a fun video, I'll tell you right now. Uh, it's me, Jackson, and Landon. The two other guys that we did the 20 gauge goose hunt challenge with, with the ice eater over the little pond. You remember that video? Okay, you ought to remember that video because that video is banging right now. It's doing awesome on views. I got my boys back with me and we're about to do the ghillie suit challenge. Now today, not only are we doing the ghillie suit challenge, we're laying in the decoy spread. Three of us, we're gonna get up the largest spread possible. We'll just see how that goes. But today is sponsored by ShotCam, y'all. Y'all have requested for years, literally years, that I get a ShotCam for the end of my barrel. If y'all don't know what ShotCam is, this little bad boy right here in this lovely little case. Check this bad boy out real quick, y'all. This is a beauty. See, it just screws on the end of your gun. Yep, about right there, uh-huh. Oh, and it gets some saucy shooting footage, y'all. I mean, like, real close, zoomed in. I'm sure you guys can tell by the thumbnail, maybe the intro of this video. Uh, I went and shot a crow with this the other day. And I am excited about what the footage is about to look like for y'all. You guys have requested that I get a shot cam forever, forever. And they reached out to me and they're like, Bobby, can we please sponsor a video? Can we get a shot cam in your hands to use? So big shout out to shot cam for hooking it up. I hope you guys enjoy this video with this new footage. And I will link shot cam down in the description below. If you're interested in picking one up, go check them out. They are quality units. What's really awesome, it comes with this little T-handle tool, and it's only one screw. That silver screw right there, that's all you use to tighten it down on your barrel. One screw, it's extremely easy. It's extremely easy to charge. It's got a built-in battery and built-in SD card, so you just hook it up to your computer, pull the footage right off, and you're good to go. So, I'm excited about this little unit today. I hope you guys are too, and I hope you guys are excited for the ghillie suits. Now, Fred, 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 Fred. Dad here, Dad, uh, Bob, the old dad. Yeah, I'm not happy with old Frederick. I'm gonna tell you that right now. He has gotten out of the yard three times uh, in the last two days. Last night, he got out of the yard at about mm, 10 o'clock, and I had to drive around the neighborhood screaming his name at 10 o'clock looking for him. So, Fred's in big trouble. He's not going anywhere. I can't even look at him right now. He's made me so upset, I've almost lost him. If he wasn't my hunting dog and, and everything, I'd already have him neutered so he'd stop getting out of the yard and chasing women, you know what I mean? He's just that age. So, enough blabbing. Uh, let's uh, get to the field, get this thing set, and get on some ghillie suits. You guys are gonna laugh. This should be one of the most entertaining videos we've ever, we've ever done. Ghillie suit challenge, y'all, let's go. On a scale from one to 10, oh how do you, how do you went? oh God. How do you think that the ghillie suits are gonna work today? 13. 13, baby, 13. What about you, scale of one to 10, how are they gonna do? 13 and a half. Oh! What do you got there? Let's see what you're working with. Little milk. Just a baby miniature midget milk jug? Yes. It's like two dollars. That's sweet. A 13 and a 13 and a half. Um, I think it's gonna work pretty good. Um, I'm excited to try it rather than laying in white. Now, we are gonna have to sit some white decoys so we can have us a canopy to lay under. Uh, I don't have enough dark socks. I wish I had a lot more dark socks, but I don't. So, uh, oh, excuse me. I'm sorry about that. Let's uh, get to the field. We're going to start busting our buns, see how many decoys we can get up. Oh, looky there. We got the old shot cam mounted up. Oh, ho, ho, yeah. Finally got to spread up. Actually, it didn't take very long. Three guys, 75 dozen decoys out in roughly... 45 minutes. I'm serious. Dive bomb makes it easy. We're running all silos and socks. We got out roughly 30 dozen Canada silhouette decoys. We got out all of my Canada sock decoys, which is 20 dozen. And then we got out roughly 30 to 35 dozen white snow goose sock decoys. So 75 dozen right around that mark today. Now, when I found this field yesterday, it was jacked. I mean, loaded. 
I wanted to get more than three guys, but Jackson and Landon, they're the only ones available on a weekday. So we're gonna send it three guys, should be a crazy hunt. And we're gonna hide way over there in the ghillie suits. Oh, oh, oh yeah. But it is looking juicy if I do say so myself. It runs over this way quite a ways. Look at that sunrise. Gonna be a good morning, boys. First time ever hunting out of a ghillie suit. <laughs> this should be interesting. Woo! We look like Sam Squanch out here, like no joke. Uh, if someone were to watch, I, if we get checked by the game warden today, he is not gonna know what to think, dude. He's gonna be like, so what are you boys wearing here? Uh, we all three got ghillie suits on and we're rocking the shot cam. I'm really excited about the shot cam. It's been a camera that I've been wanting to try for a long time for y'all. You guys have been requesting it, like I said earlier, but beautiful spread. I'll show you guys some more when, when the sun comes up. Uh, we have some mojo flags out, a full dive bomb spread, ghillie suits. We got up at 4.30, boys, to get this done. Is this gonna happen or what? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 13 out of 10, it's gonna happen. Woo! It is shooting light. We have birds doing it. Here's a single, boys, get ready. See if we can smoke this single. I'm gonna try to take the first shot with this shot cam, see what she looks like. Just loving it, look at them. Holy he God. He did. <laughs> he <No>. real dead. <laughs> <laughs> that was dirty. Yay! We definitely got that one on the shot cam, boys. That was dirty. Yeah, that was dirty. Nah, <laughs> uh, you know. <laughs> it's hey, we gotta pluck the singles before the volleys come. Just give them the old head. There's a good little group. That was yummy. If you guys liked the video so far, smash the thumbs up button. Uh, I'm thinking that these ghillie suits might work, boys. That was cute. Oh, group group coming right here. <laughs> Well, maybe they don't like me blowing the horn so heavy this early. We'll back off. We'll back off. He's laying right there about 10 yards from us, boys. That would be... God, that's the bad thing about these ghillie suits. They are literally... They, they hook to everything. You can't touch a decoy. You can't touch anything because they snag everything. But first bird down, I hope uh, I got on the shot cam for y'all. If you like that footage, you gotta let me know down below. If it's good footage right now, drop a comment, be like, boys, just tell me, Bobby, get out there, use that shot cam some more if you guys like it. First Canada down, a little cackler, itty bitty cackler. Look at him, no band on him. Look at that itty bitty head, tiny. Here we go, I love the little birds. Now, boys, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a point here where uh, we're going to have some really, really, really big volleys come. So since there's only three of us, we might have to watch some big shows for a while, you know? So three guys, be careful shooting. Um, you know, these juice fills like this, you can get volleys at two and three hundred that are going to do it. And you can just splatter into them and you can uh, have legal troubles really, really quickly. So. I stress uh, be choosy on your shots with, with minimal guys because uh, you can end up shooting over your limit really easily. So just be picky with your shots. That's what we're going to do today. We're going to take some low birds today. We're not going to be sky busting. Today is take what's in the decoys or over the decoys. <laughs> to rack a shell and completely messed I up got, on that. I got hung up on my ghillie suit. Well, I messed up on that one. I didn't get my gun up in time. I was busy filming for Snapchat and all this other jazz, but we worked them in tight, boys. What'd you guys kill, two? Yeah, I two? two? Good, 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 up high. Oh, can I kill him? 
He did. That boy did. Who is? Who Bam. Yeah. There we go, boy. You're on today. <laughs> yeah, I'm on today. Let's go. Well, there we go. Hope you guys are enjoying it so far. Hope you guys are liking the shot cam. It's uh, I got to get used to using it. Up oh, there we go, boys. Another. Uh, that's a straight up lesser right there. There we go. What do we got down for? Looking good. Looking good. I got two. Jackson, you got two. Landon, are you on the board yet? Nope. Landon! <laughs> Shoot him. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, I messed up again trying to, and I'm not getting my bolt closed when I'm slamming it on the first go. I'm not misfiring, it's that I'm not getting the bolt closed. And so, ah, that was good, boys. Killed two of them, right? Heck yeah. <laughs> Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Uh oh. We really better get him. Get him! Get him! <laughs> Dude, you look like Sasquatch chasing a bird out here. Oh, look, we got another one. What you got there? Yeah, yummy little cackler. Look how small that yeah, bird dude. is, dude. Tiny. You're definitely looking like Sam Squanch out here, dude. <laughs> I mean, straight up. Oh, we got birds coming, boys. This is getting interesting in a hurry. Here we go, boys. Good little group. Oh, I did not shoot a good, good again. Two right here. Over here. Get one of these two. Oh, five, five, five. He did. Nice shooting, boys. Good shooting. Good shooting. That was cool. Man, I'm having troubles over here having to rack this thing. Really? I'm showing the chamber first. Ah. That was good though. Yeah. That was good. The two came back and got wrecked. Woo! Ah. Woo! Well, I'll tell you right now that uh I will say that the ghillie suit, uh the ghillie suits are working by far. I mean oh, yeah. hands down. Hands down they're working. I would say uh, your guys are 13 and 13 and a half out of 10. 17. 17. It's definitely out of 17 now. Hell yeah. It must be the flow. Oh, for sure. All the flow going on. It's the lucky staple in the head. Yep. That's yep. what it is. Oh, look at this. Woo! There's, there's two there. It's a good one, guys. This is a good one. Oh, they're coming, boys. Let me shoot this single on camera on this deal. See if we can get this single in here. Here comes a single. He's eating it up. Look at that. You guys take that low bird. Alrighty. 
I got one more bird to shoot here and I'm done. These birds are absolutely loving it. Look at them. No calling. Laying in ghillie suits. Look at this. Look at this. Shoot him. <laughs> oh my goodness. That on this shot cam is going to be ridiculous. He is right there. Where? Shoot him. Shoot him, boy. Nah, ooh, right on the right dome, on the dome piece. piece. That is good. I had one show in too, look at that. Well, I'm limited out. I am done. Done. Did you shoot any? I, I missed. He killed me. <laughs> I had to take that bird. I'm like, it's yeah, right in I my face, boys. <laughs> that was yummy. Let's go get him. Well, that's a limit. I mean, the sun isn't even barely up yet. And that bird, that is five, that is ten yards. This guy just got crushed right in the stomach. Oh, man. His chest got pretty beat up on that deal. He's definitely a little tenderized. <laughs> on the deck, look at this single, boys. Shoot that single. Nice shot, nice shot. Who right here, circling back, right here in front. <laughs> Shoot them two right up top. Oh, no go, no go, whoops. Hey, hey, sometimes it's big swings, big misses, that's okay. Uh, but not gonna be long and uh, the boys are gonna be done. I'm limited, like I said, they're getting their last few birds a piece. What a morning. Uh, what time is it? What, I mean, how long did that take? I mean, it's only, Jackson's checking the time. 7.38. 7.38. I was actually limited at about 7.30, so under 30 minutes for sure. Beautiful hunt, guys. Like I said, if you haven't smashed the thumbs up button, please do so. Uh, this is an epic little hunt. I knew it was going to be. I knew it was. It seems like when us three get together, oh, yeah. magic good. happens, it's boys. It's all in the flow, dude. I'm telling you. For sure. It's all in that flow, baby. Out front, boys, out front. <laughs> Shoot these. Nice. Nice. Nice, boys. Good shooting. Limit. We're done? Yep. We're yep. done. Well, uh, we've been limited out here. We've just been sitting here watching the show. We literally have geese in the decoys landing landing went to go get the truck uh we're gonna start loading up we're gonna go to breakfast early boys we are done this is wild i'm gonna film him here while he's getting the truck though this is uh this is pretty pretty <laughs> I, I can't even say pretty this is awesome i mean beautiful little hunt beautiful little hunt i really hope you guys enjoyed this one because they still want it Well, this is a sight to see here. Look at this one here. <laughs> Look at this single, dude. Oh, Billy. Oh, goodness. Well, we needed a lot more guns today, dude. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> we needed a lot more guns today. Woo, this is marvelous. uh well i'm gonna talk a little bit here you know last year i laid in the decoys like this quite a bit and uh we did not have this type of reaction last year i didn't have this type of reaction here at home but one time and look at this they're eating it up they don't want to leave i can tell you uh ghillie suits and laying in the decoys is probably my new favorite thing to be quite honest no oh, well we're done 
oh, the show is definitely not over, but uh, we're gonna wrap it up. We are going to breakfast early, boys. That feels good. Got the old rig. Landon went and picked it up for me. Believe me, I had to park it every bit of three quarter mile away. So I appreciate it, Landon. Oh, there's a bird in here. Oh, hey. That's cool. Bye, bud. It was a good one. I'm, t I'm telling you, like birds landing, birds in our face, birds all up in your face. Oh, yeah. I mean, all up in all your up grill. In Insane, dude. Awesome hunt. Look, Unreal. there's another one. The another one in the decoys? Look at him. Look at him. Just sitting here. Check it out. There's more? Look how comfy they are. We're not going to be mean to them. We're just going to pick up our spread. Hey, bye, bud. See you later. Hey, bye, bud. See you later. I'm telling you, the ghillie suits work today. That was, uh, that was amazing. This is my new tactic. This is my go-to tactic for hunting wheat fields. I've always been preaching, how do we hide? You know, we don't have pit blinds out here. You can't put lay down blinds out here. How do we hide better instead of laying in white? You know what I mean? I was a big advocate. Still I am for laying in white, but I think the ghillie suit idea just took over the old laying in white idea for sure. But here is the spread. I wanted to show you guys with some more lighting. Looking great. That's where we were sitting, right there. So, big teardrop. And then it drags out that way with a wing. Uh, sitting the dive bombs today. I just scattered them. We set all the silos first, just in a long line, and then we filled in with the socks. Back in here, where it's not heavy up front, it's a lot, it's a lot looser. We got socks, mojo spinning flags, and silhouettes just sprinkled everywhere. And then with the white, it just you know gradually rolls in to heavy white. So, looks good, huh? Yeah. We got white flags, black flags. Woo, she was juicy. It worked. I'm liking it. I'm liking the galley suits, boys! <laughs> Well, I just, uh, we got the truck behind us. We're picking up. We've got, I don't know, a few dozen decoys picked up. We had two snows land, and you guys know snows in Kansas, 50 is your limit per day. I shot one on the shot cam. I hope you guys seen it. I hope I caught it. It is a dirty juvie. Look at that guy. <laughs> so we decided to squat down, try to shoot some white birds while they're flying over, I guess. Shoot. Well, we uh, got her all picked up here. Check it out. Three guys, 70 dozen. That's what 70 dozen dive bombs look like. That was our spread today. Yes, some of them did it pretty close. Some of them got crunched pretty darn good. But check it out, the spread's picked up and we got the old mojo flags out here just flapping. That's what they look like without any decoys around them. So them flags, what they're imitating, guys, is just when, you, when you're watching a feed and you see one bird kind of shift its wing, or maybe one will flap real quick, or shift a wing, or move, you know what I mean? When you spread them out like this, in a big old goose spread, it just gives real life motion throughout the whole thing, you know? So that's what we did. We put some white ones over here with the white decoys, and we put some dark ones over there with the dark decoys. Simple enough beautiful wind so we weren't supposed to have any wind today it was supposed to be four to six mile an hour out of the northwest and right now it's sitting at probably 12 to 13 just enough to make all the socks bounce it looked amazing this morning kansas uh weather if the meteorologist says four to six mile an hour basically it's zero so you never know you just never know all I can say is if you're wanting to hunt and you have a feed and the wind isn't perfect for you or the conditions are just, you know, not exactly what you want, who cares? Get out there, give it a go, buy some motion decoys like this. Because with these motion decoys, what happens with little wind, it provides you motion, duh, right? And it works. I've used these on probably four different hunts and they're nice. Well, we are back home here and I'm uh, headed up to the back door to let Fred out. Let's just see how mad at me he really is here. Guarantee you, he was not happy to see Dad leave and him not get to go. Daddy Ricky. Hi, buddy. Hi. 
Come on. Like I said this morning, Fred, he was a very, very, very bad boy last night. Uh, about lost him, honestly. About lost him. Uh, I was really upset. Still not the happiest with him, uh, but he'll definitely be able to go on the next hunt, you know? I always feel bad for not taking Fred. I don't feel near as bad today just because, uh, man, he's been a little poop head, to put it nicely. That, that's it. He's uh, been chasing his nose outside of the fence. Amateur bud. But what I got going on here, got my bag of goose breast. That's my limit today. Gonna go ahead and put them on in now. This is how I do most of my, my meat. I throw it in a uh, five gallon bucket, let the water run, and look, it just pushes those feathers right on out, all by itself. Give her a good stirring with the hose. I do this every single time. You stir it and keep the water going. It just keeps pushing them feathers right on out. Cleans it up for you real nice. I do this every time. It not only gets the blood out, but it gets all them feathers out of there for you. But today's hunt, I want to talk about it for one second. Y'all know that I like to come home. I like to unwind. I like to clean my birds. And then I like to recap the hunt when it's fresh in my mind for y'all. You know what I'm saying? So today's hunt, like I said, I found it last night. I believe that this was the first, sorry, the second day that those birds wanted to come to that field. So first off, first tip off this hunt, if you find birds, new birds hitting a new field for the first time, you know what I mean? So they're hitting a field for the first time, hunt them as soon as you can, y'all. I want to uh, clear up something here because there's a bad stigma with uh, comfy birds. I've done a lot of hunts in my day where uh, we scouted birds for a whole week and they were all in the same field. I'm trying to find my words. They were all in the same field every single day for a week or longer, you know what I mean? And now, what happens? A lot of times we refer to those fields like, oh dude, dude, we're gonna bang them out because they are extra comfy. They've been in there for a couple weeks. But my theory, and I might be wrong, but this is just my educated theory that I've came up with throughout the years of my waterfowl hunting experience. A good scout has good hunts, you know what I mean? So everything about waterfowl hunting, whether it's ducks on a pond, ducks on a river, goose field hunting, whether you're gonna lay in white, whether you're gonna lay in a ghillie suit, or whether you're gonna hide in an A-frame on the edge of the field, y'all. My theory is the sooner you can hit them birds when they are on a new field, the better. Here's my theory why. They get used to structure, y'all. Just think about it. If you went to a new restaurant for the first time, okay, and you sat down at the same table, okay, the next day, and then the next day, and then the next day, not only are you gonna be acquainted with the server, and you're gonna know the color of the carpet, and you're gonna have the same seat, and you're gonna be expecting for it to look a certain way when you arrive, take that theory, put it into hunting. If they're comfy somewhere and you're there when they get there, you know what I mean? So they're coming to the field that they've been comfy in, they're like, what is that? That's not supposed to be there. If it's a new field, they're like, who knows? Anybody else could already be there before us. You know what I'm saying? So not only is it about the spread, it's about structure. They are not used to the structure yet. You know what I mean? Just like this tree right here. If I sat next to this tree, I would know that that tree's there. If one day I arrive to the field and that tree's not there, I'm gonna be like, whoa, 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 that's not right. So, I hope that made sense. Uh, probably didn't. <laughs> but that's my theory, honestly. But guys, we are back in the old man cave. Check it out. Guys, I really wanna give a huge shout out to Shot Cam today. There has been so many of you guys throughout the years that have requested me to get a Shot Cam. And uh, I'm glad they, they reached out and I'm glad they sponsored this video because now we're going to be able to use this bad boy on a lot of other hunts. So if you guys enjoyed the shot cam footage, you have to let me know down below. If you want me to use it more, again, drop a comment. Let me know. Let me know what videos you want me to use it on, y'all. Seriously, big shout out to shot cam. If you guys want to check out shot cam, they have them for 20 gauges, 12 gauges, everything and above. I will link it down in the description below. I will tell you what, having one in my hands now and on my gun, I'll tell you that they are quality. I didn't know 
hardly anything about them before I got it. I had never seen one. I had never used one. And uh, this being the first hunt that I've used it, like really used it, I'm telling you, uh, they're awesome. But big shout out to ShotCam yet again. It takes uh, the regular footage that we've been doing uh, with you all on my head and just takes it to another level. So, so big shout out to ShotCam. Uh, having sponsors like them uh, is honestly a dream come true, honestly. So you guys, if it wasn't for y'all, I wouldn't be here living my dream, bringing you guys educational hunting videos. I guess that's what I like to call it now. I mean, yeah, these videos are fun and um, they're great, you know, great shooting. I'm doing what I love, but at the end of the day, the main reason why I'm doing this is for y'all. Y'all keep me coming back. Not only do you guys keep me coming back, but you guys keep me genuine. All in all about, about that comment, I just want to say thank you to, I just want to say thank you to y'all. I appreciate you guys being here. I really do. Subscribe if you haven't, y'all. We're gonna be coming at y'all with videos all hunting season long. Make sure you hit that little notification down there. When you do, it will notify you right on your mobile device that your boy done uploaded and you need to go watch the new saucy vid. But honestly, guys, thank you so much for being here. Until next time. Look at him. He's like, no, daddy, you gonna make me do the piece?